What's up, YouTube? Yoke Gang, how you guys doing? Well, I thought I should come and have a little conversation with you guys today because I was doing a little bit of organizing and, you know, inventorying and just looking at um, the things that I had and um, just making sure everything is accounted for. And as a gun owner, I feel like that is something that you should do as well. Document your serial numbers, keep your receipts. Um, if you get the roll receipts, make sure you make a copy of it because that ink does fade off of it just so that you can have um, a track record and um, everything that you might need if something was to happen um, with any of your firearms. And um, as I'm going through my receipts, just putting everything together, I'm starting to notice that um, during the summer months, which would be July, August, September, I believe would be the summer months, and I had heavy activity um, during those months. And um, I thought I should come on here and um, do a 2021 summer purchase gun collection edition <laughs> video. If you have not checked out my um, 2020, 2021 gun collection video, make sure you check that out. Um, one thing, none of the firearms that I'm going to be showing you today is included in that video. I am getting ready to put together a part two, but I am waiting for something um, special to go ahead and um, complete that um, so I can put that out there for you guys. So again, this is not my gun collection. These are just firearms that I picked up this summer. And um, I think, um, you know... <laughs> well, let's get started. I'm going to start off with um, calibers. So everything that's in the same caliber, um, pistols and, and things like that, we'll keep together. Rifles will keep together and so on and forward. Um, so you guys can get an idea of how many and what um, it is that I did pick up. So first is this guy here, Canic. Um, if you guys have been... Uh, uh, part of the Yoke Gang for a while, you know I am a big hard case person. I love the hard cases just because if this is all you want to take with you um, to your range there or whatever, you know, everything is there. You can pack it up neatly and go and watch your business. But um, with that being said, um, this is... Oh, and another thing, this has also been a... Um, a big feature on a few of my hog hunts. Yes, I have been um, taking this out with me because this holster is just great. It fits so comfortably. You all know that I have my um, uh, my fanny pack. Okay, yeah, my fanny pack with me on all of my hunts, and the holster is just super comfortable. Um, you can use the holster as an inside the waistband, outside the waistband. It just takes. Um, two, four screws to be removed, switched over to the other side, and you can use it however you want. All right, guys, this is my TP9 SFX Canic, chambered in nine millimeter. It is clear, and I have a Holosyn, um solar powered um, red dot on here. It was optic ready, and I chose to go with the Holosyn, um Red dot, well, this particular Holocene because it was solar powered. Um, I've had a couple run-ins to where I forget to turn my red dots off, the battery dies, and boom, I don't have an extra battery. It's in another bag or whatever it is. So um, it's not a really good experience when you're out there trying to have fun and you're not prepared. Um, so this being solar powered, it is great. I enjoy it, I love it, but as far as this Canic, I know there's a lot of hype about the Canic. Um, it is a very budget-friendly um, pistol, but I can tell you for what it costs, you are getting a very good pistol, very good. Um, they do a lot of raving about the trigger. The trigger is a smooth, short pull. I mean, it is butter. I love it straight out the box, no adjustments or tweaking or replacements or anything straight out the box it's ready to go and it is to me i feel like i'm shooting in a tournament and 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 just official when i have this 
um, because it is a little uh, bigger than my average um, pistol, but I really like it. All right, let's put this back in here. Uh, it also comes with two magazines. Uh, the magazines say 18, uh, but I know that you can put, um, I don't know how um, keen you guys are actually keen about forcing it in, but I know you can put 20 in here because I tried and yes, you can. Um, 18 round magazines, you come with two. And to me, that is, <clears throat> excuse me, a huge plus. It comes with a lot of little gadgets that you can use. It also has a um, an extended slide. Uh, little thing here. You can screw on this piece right here like this, and you can use it to rack your slide. I think that was pretty neat too. But it's just a little bulkier. Um, if you're carrying outside the waist and you're right-handed, it would be great. Um, I haven't used it, but it's good to know. You have your Allen keys, you have extra screws, you have all kinds of stuff in this box, and it is really worth what I paid. It's, I, I must admit that this is a great, budget-friendly pistol, highly recommended. Oh, and it comes with a, um, I forget what this is called, but it's easy on your fingernails. You can go ahead and push everything in with no issues. I'm sorry, I need to put these out here for you guys to see. Not how would you know. All right, the Canic, chambered in nine millimeter. All right, next, nine millimeter. This is my Charles Daly Pack Nine, chambered in nine millimeter. It is clear. There's nothing in it. Super fun shoot. This is a Holosyn red dot as well, but it's battery operated. It's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't like one more than the other, but just one is a little more convenient than the other. I did include um, really nothing. I just did a, um, I switched out the magwell so I can use the Glock magazines on it. So, um, hey, it comes with the Beretta magazines, but the Glock magazines are a whole lot easier to come about. So I went ahead and made that change and I'm loving it. You can check out my um, comparison between the CZ and this um, in a video that I had posted. All right, let's put that down there like that. All right, next, again, these are not in any particular order as far as by um, purchase or when I bought them, these are just what I found within that three month span. And um, this is my Rock Island Armory 1911, chambered in 45 ACP. And mm, mm, mm. this is another one that I really enjoy shooting. It's clear, nothing in it. And it is beautiful. Let me just let you look at this grip really quick. This grip, I believe they call it checkered, but it is nice. It's not too aggressive. It's, it just gives the whole um, pistol character. I am loving it. Um, I wasn't big on this safety feature in um, the grip, but hey, in order. And the best practice is to have a great grip on your grip um, for you know better shooting and it's also good practice so you don't drop it or anything, especially people that have sweatier palms. Um, but besides that, it's solid. 45 ACP, 1911, Rock Island. Put these back. All right, so we talked about the nine millimeters, we got the 45. ACP and another thing before all this I was really not feeling revolvers at all I would 
would look at them. I would try to find everything possible attractive about um, the revolver, and I just couldn't find anything. And um, yo, gang, you guys just kept pushing me. Hey, you got to get one. You got to get one. Just try it. Just try it. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Just do it. Just do it. And not just a um, a woman thing. If, if anybody, male or female, you have to be attracted to um, what it is that you're purchasing in some manner to go ahead and make that purchase. And um, as I was looking around, shopping around for a um, revolver, I did come across this. Um, yes, it is a Taurus. 357 Magnum and it is the Raging Hunter. Now, I looked at it, I was like, wow, that's a pretty nice looking um, revolver there. Um, if I'm gonna get one, I'll get this one. And I went ahead and made this purchase. This is, I know for sure, this is the first revolver that I got. Um, I'm gonna open it up for you. It does have um, two safety latches. It has one up here and one down here. Both of them have to be engaged in order to push the reel out. So I'm gonna do that and there you go. It is clear, there's nothing in it. And I can tell you for sure, I am so happy I made this purchase. So happy I made this purchase because this really opened up my eyes to a totally different shooting experience. And it's sexy. The grip is solid rubber. It is a rubber grip and it is so comfortable. And I can really appreciate that with the revolvers because um, they are just, I mean, the, the ones that I have, a, a heavier, um, I guess, caliber, magnum, I guess that would be the same. Uh, and it, it, it really makes sure that it is secure in your hands. It comes with this little rubber piece here that you can um, secure your sight with. And all in all, it is beautiful. Oh, it is um, single and double stage. I prefer to shoot it in single stage because the trigger pull is a lot shorter than the double stage. Now, to each his own, if you like um, your double stage, that's fine, but I do not have a problem with pulling the hammer back. I'm sure if I need to, I will use it, but I am more comfortable in the single stage. So this is my Raging Hunter 357 Taurus. All right, next. Where's my other box? I'm missing a box. Give me one second. I'm missing a box. All right. I didn't see it. It was mixed up with another box. But it is my Luger. We're still on revolvers, and my Ruger, oh, this is one of my faves here also. Yo, gang, this is the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan, chambered in 44 Magnum. It is clear. There's nothing in there, and it is beautiful. Um, I think you got. Um, it's referred to the shorter nose, the snub nose, and um, what an experience! Shooting this revolver is great. This would pretty much put me over the top to say, "Yeah, you 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 like revolvers? You do." Just face it. Oh, sorry. Just face it. It, it is what it is. You like it. Um, the grip, rubber grip, excellent, excellent texture. It has some aggression on here, but not much.
because it is rubber, it really doesn't um, uh, dig into your hands or anything. But for the sweatier palms, you definitely shooting this are going to need um, that extra grip. Um, has the iron sights, which are great. This also is a double and single stage. And I also shoot this single stage because that's just how I like to shoot the revolver. And it's beauty here. My Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan 44 Magnum. This is my last revolver, but this has to be my most favorite out of the three. Yo gang, this is my Smith & Wesson 500 snub nose. Rubber grip, excellent. It is clear and it is beautiful. This right here will really let you know what your wrist is about. Can you handle it or not? <laughs> um, the 500 um, ammunition, well, the, what I was able to find um, was I think 350 grain or 325 grain underwood. I am hoping to have um, my 700 grain, the lipstick, um, delivered suit. It's been out of stock for a while and I am hoping that it comes back so that we can go ahead and shoot this baby with the 700 grain. And I know that it is something that you do not want to miss. All right, so we talked about my three resolvers that Hey, if you don't own one, go get you one. Try it out. Don't knock it because it looks old fashioned. You think of the rodeos and not the uh, rodeos, the westerns and, and all that. That's where it is. Believe me. Okay. Another thing that um, you guys were uh, mentioning, I did not have a shotgun. If you go back to my 2021 gun collection video, there is not one shotgun anywhere in that video. So I did go out and get one. And my first shotgun purchase, it is clear, is my Mossberg 590. You hear that? This here, definitely, definitely, if you're ever um, in need of home protection for whatever reason, and your intruder hears this sound, I'm sure they will turn around and run away before they come in contact with this. Um, it is an excellent shoot. I am 5'3". My arms are a little shorter. Um, so I do have a little bit of um, issues with um, being able to rack it without taking it off of target. And you do not want to uh, find yourself in that situation um, taking your firearm off of the target um, because, again, you're, you put yourself in a more vulnerable state at that moment, even though it might take you a second to do it, but you have given yourself that one second of vulnerability and we don't have time for it. Um, but as far as this goes, I am going to change the furniture on it and use something or try to find something that's a little more comfortable for me um, with my shorter arms. But but hey, it, it works and it works extremely well and I love it. So with that concern, I did visit um, another gun store and the gentleman in the store had a suggestion and he suggested that I purchase this here. This is the TriStar 12 gauge and um, it is a, what would be considered a budget shotgun because it is, uh, excellent price you can't go wrong with it and um how he explained it to me because it is spring action once i rack it back the spring will automatically kick it forward effortlessly so as soon as i let it go you see how i don't have to 
force it forward, it'll just automatically move. This is clear. I'll do that again for you guys to see. The position of this, um, I, I'm not sure the formal name to this piece right here, um, but it is clear. There's nothing in it. Um, so that was the reason why I went ahead and did this um, or, or made this purchase. It is also a, a nice shoe. It's smooth. I don't have any complaints with it. And definitely, why not? Especially for the price. All right, let me put this up here. Please don't go anywhere. Okay, moving right along. Next, I was interested in semi-automatic 12 gauges as well. And I went and I found this. It is clear, there's nothing in it. This is the JTS M12 12 gauge on the AR platform. I did have the option of choosing the AR or the AK. I got the AK because this color, this gray was just beautiful. I loved it immediately. I am an AK girl, but I, I just loved the way that this look and, and I couldn't leave it. So this was my first 12 gauge semi-automatic purchase. It was a JTS M12 and love it too. It has the iron sights, flip up. It's great. The only thing, and it's not a bad thing um, because it does have gas settings on here. I don't wanna flag you guys. It has gas settings on here that you can adjust them um, based on the, the type of um, shells that you're shooting. If you're shooting, um, you definitely want to shoot hotter rounds, not hotter rounds, but hotter shells um, with the more brass, the better. Simple. The more brass on it is the way you want to go because these like um, those, those, those heavier um, shells. Uh, so anything 1350 or higher will definitely run with no problem. Um, Setting number two is my happy medium. It works for me. I don't have any issues with it. Um, but of course, if you decide to make this purchase and you're shooting and you're finding yourself going through some issues, go ahead and adjust it, play with it, learn your firearms, um, become comfortable with it so that you can know and understand what it is it's asking you for so that it can perform um, to your expectation. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. You can check that video out. And um, we also had a, a really good time making that as well. Um, this one has your polymer grip. It's not rubber. Um, it's a little more aggressive, but again, it is a heavier um, firearm. So you do want to have something that is, feels a little more secure in your hand. Um, if it's not a full rubber grip. But yes, JTS, put this back in here and we're gonna set this up, M12, 12 gauge. I think I'm gonna have to move some around, but that's okay, we'll keep going. All right, I did tell you I had two options, the AR platform 12 gauge and yes, I did it. I went back and got the AK as well. It's clear. There's nothing in here. When you want to talk about something that has an aggressive look, you're looking at it. Just looking at the, the width of this barrel, just everything about it. To me, AKs are just more uh, I don't want to say stronger looking. Stronger is not a, a good word for it, but yeah, aggressive, more aggressive looking. Got the ATS red dot on, um, ATS, JTS red dot on here. It has the polymer furniture on it. This one does not have 
the aggression look the aggressive little um yes like sandpaper feeling but it's fine um again your for your hand grip in the front has um, nice little grooves on it so this slipping out of your hand will not happen there is a video on there of me shooting it clutching it and um shooting it with one i'm gonna say one arm <laughs> one-handed and i did not lose it it did kick me back a little bit if you want to see that go ahead and check that video out but man these are tough i really put them through um some test yeah i'm not going to talk about that too much so you can go ahead and check that video out all right my jts m12 on the ak platform okay please don't fall all right so we are going to move right along into well, what I want to show you first. Let's go into my 762 by 39. And it is this Palmetto State full size AK with the official banana clip. <laughs> she is clear. Yes, I do refer to all of my weapons as she's because they are she's and it is what it is um she is furnished with the polymer plum furniture beautiful it has the um hint of it almost looks brown if you um look at it at a glance but it has like a burgundy purplish finish to it um and it is it's beautiful I love the um, the character. I think I did have the other option that was out was gray, and the gray just look it looked like a toy. I didn't like. I'm not in for toy guns. I don't like anything that looks like a toy. I'm not about it. I'm I no. I'm no. I don't want it. Um, it's a gun. It's a real gun. Let's make it look like a real gun so it could be handled and treated as a real gun. Um, but yeah, my full size AK. Um, polymer mag pool furniture plum color beautiful with my palmetto state banana clip and it's just so cute all right i'm not gonna stand this one up i'm just gonna lay her down right here i don't want what i might be able to let me just make a quick adjustment all right, I just had to straighten up a little bit, um, but let's get back into it. And we are going to talk about this here. This is my Sev 2, she's clear. There's nothing in it. My Sev 2 build, beautiful, beautiful. It is personalized with the engraving on the side. It says Yoke Gang and Yoki Stirrup on it. Um, Jay the Shooter and Red Phoenix Defense, thank you. I am really loving this. 556223, five, this is what it's chambered in. Um, took it off a hog hunt and I'm a believer. I love it. <laughs> I, I really do. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has a skeletonized um, grip on it. I know you guys always hear me talk about the rubber grips but I, I am feeling it. it it's different and um and i like it. it it's it has character um it does have my loop loop it's almost like a tongue twister loop old loop 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 uh, red dot and um i think it looks really good i really like it this is my set two chamber five five six two two three All right, let's talk about this little guy right here. I'm gonna um, bring it close to the camera. 
have you guys look at it. If you know, you know, but. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my Fostec Tomcat chambered in 300 blackout. She is clear, there's nothing in it. And this, listen, everything that I own, I love. I am a little bit of a uh, compulsive buyer. I buy a lot of, because it's visual. And um, so when you hear me refer to, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes, I love everything in its own special way. There's something about it that I love. Um, so don't get, oh, she loves everything, she loves everything. Yes, I do because it's mine. But back to this. This has to be the funnest shoot around. Funnest. Again, it is my Fostec Tomcat chambered in 300 blackout with the binary trigger. Excellent. So much fun. It, it is, it really is. Um, you can check out, I don't think I have one on there, but I will definitely um, get that up for you so you guys can check it out and um, have that experience with me because it is a world of fun. Um, let me switch these around. Let's put this here. And then we'll put this here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this rifle needs its own introduction, standing ovation. Um, just, it's something in its own class. I have been looking for this for months. When I say months, months. And I finally, finally got a hold of one about a week ago today. Today's Friday, about a week ago today. And this is clear. This is my FN SCAR 20S chambered in 308. I think this officially makes me a huntress. I am official. This, this has taken me to another level. I cannot wait to opening season um, for deer. I am definitely, I am looking for a nice scope. I hear this is what, a, a scope wrecker? Uh, you guys have been giving me a lot of um, um, inputs on what it is that I should use uh, to put on here. So I have been actively searching for something really good that at least give me, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, this is up to a thousand meters. So I need to, I need to, whatever I can't see with my eye, when I put this up to my cheek, I will definitely see it. So I am so excited about this. She is kind of heavy. Um, yes, they, you know, everybody said, well, why didn't you get a 17? Why didn't you, because I didn't want a 17. If you wanted to say, you go get the 17. I got exactly what it is that I wanted, which is the 20S. So, uh, guys, what do you think? In a three month span, this is what I managed to uh, get. You think I need to just stay out of the store? What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14 in three months. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, um, this is not my gun collection. If you want to see my gun collection part one, you're going to have to go down um, into my videos and to get that particular video 
None of these firearms are on that video. This is a video that I thought I should put together um, based on some receipts that I found. And for the last three months, this is what I collected in three months. And I don't think I'm done. I don't think so. Every time I go in the store, I see something else. Hopefully, I'll be able to give you a seasonal. What do you guys think about that? A seasonal collection video. So, the summer. So, we got fall. And then we got winter, spring. I think that would be a good idea. Seasonal collection video. And that way, um, at the end of the year, we'll put it all together. And we'll see what it is that we collected over a one year span. All right, so make sure you go check out my part one, um, my 2021 gun collection. Um, none of these firearms are in that video. This is just, like I stressed before, something that I just put together because um, during the summertime, this is what I collected. I am going to do a part two to my gun collection, which will not have anything that's featured in my part one nor in my summer three month, I'm gonna say haul, my <laughs> three month haul, neither one of these um, firearms will be featured in my part two gun collection. I am just waiting. Um, I, I just don't feel like it's ready. Um, I am, I, I have a couple things that I, I want to add to it before I, I do the, the big debut. Um, but yeah, this again, this is not my gun collection. This is just my summer haul within the last three months of 2021 between July, July, August, and September. We're what, the fifth, third day of September? So this is what it is. And um, yeah, I am uh, <laughs> really, I, it, you just can't stop you just you, you just can't stop and, and and it's okay it's okay you ain't bothering nobody you're doing what you love and it is what it is so with that being said yo gang make sure you check out yo dang yo dang yo gang.com and you pick up a pvc patch for your gun bag or you even a t-shirt a yo gang t-shirt everything um that you guys purchase all of the um the revenue is put back into the channel <clears throat> and um it just allows me to get cooler firearms and take you on even more exciting hog hunts so i really appreciate um uh, you guys that have made purchases um to you guys that have sent me cards and letters and you guys thank you i i, I never thought that um, I would be where I am today. I can't um, thank you guys more. Um, you guys are not my fans. You guys are not my subscribers. You guys are truly um, Yoke Gang. And, um, and I love you guys. I love you guys for it so much that you allow me to um, take you on a journey that I was doing before YouTube and just to have somebody to share it with makes it that much more exciting um, because we talk about it. And yeah, I am gonna do a live soon. I'm not sure when. Um, yes, I do have this great bubbly um, personality behind the camera, but I am still a little shy. And um, But I am working on it so that we can actually talk and, uh, and we can answer some questions, do a little Q and A. I think that would be really cool. Um, but thank you guys so much. Um, I get a lot of comments asking me for my P.O. Box. Um, if I have not responded to your comment about my P.O. Box, it is going to be in my description. Um, so just check out the description. The P.O. Box information is going to be there. My email is there. Um, and thank you. Guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my 2021 summer haul collection. Three months worth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Good number. Great job. Yo, gang, thank you for joining me. And this is where it ends.
Peace.